Hey everybody, welcome in, welcome in to another segment of Live Beyond the Booth. Um, join us, join us, join us. Welcome in, welcome in everybody. It is that time again. We are approaching first Friday next week. So I'm inviting you all to join us as we kind of um, go through some information that you'll... Um, oh, one second, let me... Yeah, so welcome in, everybody. Um, go ahead and um, drop some comments in the chat, questions you may have. Hey, Jay. Hi, uh, Vanessa. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yes, yes. Welcome in, everybody. Um, so we are uh, having another segment of Live Beyond the Booth this evening. Typically, we would do it on our Friday night, but we're going to go ahead and do it tonight. Um, we are a week away from our first Friday's event. So we have Chris from Threads, who's gonna be joining us shortly. Chris, I see you just came into the room. Go ahead and um, put the request to join. Hey, Sarhan Street Food, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, love when our vendors, Hi, we love when our vendors uh, stop in and show mm -hmm. us love on our lives. Cause you never know when you will be the next one <laughs> to be up. So definitely show her some love. Chris, if you just put a request to join, I can add you. The request is like the little plus sign, I think, on the bottom. Yeah, I just accept them, so hopefully okay. it'll it kick them in. We'll see. There he is. Hey! Hi! <laughs> How's it going? Apologies for the tardiness, everybody. I was having a little bit of technical difficulties, but we all good now. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and be respectful of everybody's time, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we're just going to start off by introducing ourselves. For those of you who don't know, I'm Vanessa McGee. I'm the account manager for Oakland First Fridays, and I deal with all the vendors directly. Hi, everybody. My name is Janina. I do um, digital marketing and social media for both Oakland First Fridays and Kona Oakland, which is the district that hosts First Fridays every month. It is currently, we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary hosting First Fridays this year. So, um, so much love to all of y'all for showing support to the event. Yes. Um, I'm Chris, better known as Pac-Man Fever, the owner of Threads Culture and Fashion and certified entrepreneur in the city of Oakland. Yes, yeah. love that. Mm -hmm. So we can just get right off into this conversation because yes. we all want all right. the tea. Yes. We want the full one. You're wearing, <laughs> repping threads on your shirt right there and your hoodie. Um, Chris, for anybody who's not familiar with you or threads, culture, and fashion, why don't you just give us a quick little blurb about threads and what you're about? Um, thread, culture, and fashion was established in uh, 2015, city of Oakland. East Oakland, to be exact. Um, we represent urban fashion, streetwear, exclusive fashion, um, all made up and thought of, designed and printed by me. Nice. Um, it took some years to get to where we at. Um, I've been in the game um, nine years as a business owner in the city of Oakland. Um, before that, I was out the trunk. Um, so. Threads was birthed in the city of East Oakland, but um, it came from out the trunk. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. So um, just piggybacking off of that, um, how did the whole concept of Threads clothing, how did that even come to be? And how long do you, do you feel it took for you to begin to feel established as a business owner? Um, for me, it, let me see, Threads, um, the, the thought of it, I was just, like I said, I was selling t-shirts out of the trunk okay. and around the city. Um, so, I, like, I wanted a, a business establishment at that time. So, um, God bless me with a thousand square foot unit or whatever. Okay. So, we built that out. Um, I'm also into music. So, the whole time I've been working with the city of Oakland, uh, various artists and um came in the game with hieroglyphics used to tour with them mm -hmm. and so, so Love um, that. yeah so i had my merch game from them like when i go out and do shows i always have merch and stuff so that kind of took off um 
out of the trunk in a major way due to one of the high road day shows in the city of right. Oakland. Mm -hmm. I had every take a picture in my clothes and um, mm -hmm. I didn't use that as publicity, kind of blew up the brand. Mm -hmm. And yeah, ended up getting the store. <clears throat> the store led me to working with um, Main Street Launch okay. in the city, which um, sent me to a certified entrepreneur program and let me um, learn how to get funding and everything for small businesses mm -hmm. and working with um, the mayor prior, Libby, okay. um, mm -hmm. program and working with um shang now but um i just worked with the whole city of oakland i went through a couple of programs the main street launch program the kiva program the um Uptima program so i just went through all the things in the city of oakland to build a network and learn to have more resources for business which helped me stay in business through these times okay. I love that, especially because I think it's a lot of resources and things that are out there that people aren't even aware of. So that's what one of the things I really love about right. First Fridays, because we build a network with our um, vendors. And because you are part of that network, you get to get that information from other vendors who share that information. So it's, it's very important to to show up, be present, network with the vendors around you and get to know what resources they have available or that they can connect you to. So I, I love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's awesome. Um, congratulations on all the success you've made so far since starting selling out of your trunk to getting a, your own storefront to making music and being part of First Fridays and this network. Speaking of First Fridays, why don't you talk a little bit about how you got started with our event and what do pop up events like First Fridays mean to you as a business owner? And first and foremost, I wish I would have got started quicker. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I feel like I came in late man because uh, i've had a brick and mortar for over eight years so mm -hmm. um, like I, I think i started working with you guys over the past two years like really strong um yeah. mm -hmm. i wish i would have came in when it was like <laughs> up the street a little more <laughs> plus. but um i love i love what it do for the city i love the network that it built um i love the people that we get to meet. i love the safety um in the area that's provided so it's um it's pretty good because with us losing so many things in Oakland, mm -hmm. it's great that we'll have this event where we can all come together and you know still feel the um uni you like unity with the diversity going on in the city. So yeah, I like that. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Definitely that unity in in our diversity, and it's just like you said, it's like really unmatched, and right. we're just happy. That so many businesses like yours come back and our faithful vendors ever since the start we're happy yeah. I, although you said you wish you started earlier we're happy that you continued on right with us yeah I, right i mean especially i know for me and a lot of other businesses um you guys being there through the COVID time and you know a little bit after like really helped everybody um still get their stuff out to the people right. still see people that were willing to come outside and um, kind of shake hands, not be scared at the time. So yeah. it, that network going of like um, the socializing, because, you know, we'd be behind these cameras so much, you know, so it's yeah. like the yeah. uh, get out and yeah. touch and let them know that, you know, the face behind the brand and stuff, it was, it was a good thing. Yes, definitely love that. Um, I see a couple of people rolling through here. I see Oakland Museum sliding through. Shout out to them. Mm -hmm. Shout out to some of our vendors who just pop through. Sir Hands, Lamore, we appreciate you guys for dropping through. If you guys can drop some fire emojis in the chat, keep us live. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely love the love, right? Yeah. So, Chris, if you could, given the fact that now you, you've gone through all the phases, you you know, did the starting phase and been in business for quite a while. Um, if there was a piece of advice that you could offer to somebody that um, is either looking to start a business um, mm -hmm. or has just started a business, maybe they have an idea that they kind of sitting on and not really sure. What, what would you say to them about doing that? I, I would say go for it. I mean, you can, you can only, fail if you don't go for it you don't even know what it's Absolutely. like you mm -hmm. you learn in this um like i said coming from the trunk to where i am now the networks the relationships the everything is mm -hmm. it's just because i stepped out on faith um mm -hmm. i wasn't i wasn't like um, 
um, this is what I'm gonna do. This wasn't like my life destiny thing. It was like I'm, I want to do this. I'm gonna try it, and I stepped out on it. And like mm -hmm. I ain't looked back. I ain't had to um, work for nobody. I've been doing my own thing for a long time now. You know, God bless in that. It's a lot of struggles. And owning your own business um, is not easy, <laughs> but yeah. the, you go yeah. through, you learn from, you're able to teach people, you're, ever, you're able to help people grow. Um, you learn this crazy discipline <laughs> about yourself in life. Absolutely. So it's it's um, absolutely like, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Like, and, and don't stop. Because, I mean, in building, nobody see what you see. Like, you know, yeah. it, it was your vision. So, you know, use your vision, get it out there, and people will see it. Martin Luther King said he he believed. Yeah. <laughs> he never said he was true. He just said, I believe. So, yeah. He you got to believe in yourself. I mean, yeah. I mean owning, a, owning a business definitely does not mean, like, if you're working for self, it doesn't mean that you're working less. Please understand right. that. Right. You're going to work even more, at least right. in the beginning, until you can get to that point you know, where like you kind of step back a little bit. Up, you know, it's like at 2.45, you might get off at 3, you look at the clock, like, cool. That last 15 <laughs> minutes, like, yes. But when you're an entrepreneur, you be so mad about I'll the stop. 15 minutes. you like, right. oh, I got 15 minutes left. God, I got so much to do. So the roles yeah. switch, <laughs> like, a lot. So right. it's, yeah. it's definitely a um but get mentoring do it um build your strong team of people you can talk to and that got your back and that's right, long yeah. regardless but also tell you like that don't make sense and be able to take constructive criticism you know that's oh yeah it, that's big that's big yeah. for sure uh, but when you're doing something that you love and that's that's your passion <laughs> and it's your purpose it's it's all worth it yeah, yeah it's all like you said, yeah. I just gotta yeah. go. For it. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, <laughs> if you've been to you've been to First Fridays, I've seen you there for a couple months. If people don't know or haven't been to First Fridays, how would you describe it to them? What can they expect next Friday? <laughs> oh, man, you can expect culture. You can expect like fun. You can expect laughter. The food, um, exclusive clothing, yeah. um, man, you could you could just really kind of see um, the town of like Oakland. You see that old school town feel. You'll definitely get right. that, and you'll still get that town feel. Like you be like, okay, this would Oakland really do without all the <laughs> madness and people coming together. Is like, oh, this is cool. Like Oakland, get out, have fun. They dance in the street. Mm -hmm. They eat. Like it's like. The hyphy fine tune, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's really dope. Stay out there. Um, and then, like I say, this the the people you get to meet. That's like the the creatives. Like, man, you be like, right. you make like you doing this, like, and it'll blow your mind. And it's inspirational, mm -hmm. it's super inspirational to see what the people are doing um, in the city of Oakland. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's super inspirational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good time for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. it's a good time but it's you know it's a bigger picture it's it's not just you know having you know just about having fun but it's also about you know supporting small business yeah, and yeah. Giving, giving people no matter what level they are in their business whether they're just starting whether they're established what wherever they are whatever they're doing giving them a you know a safe and affordable mm -hmm. um right. place to be able to showcase their work um right. You know, and it's just, and it's just, it's a vibe in itself. Like, if you've never been, you're missing what are you out. <laughs> and she's like, everybody, everybody's there for a common goal of building this positive space for one another. Right. One yeah. another to yeah. support local businesses, local artists, local performers, just right. everyone's there for a common good goal. And it's just like not, it's unmatched. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I right. agree. Yeah, so I know like, uh, uh, family oriented businesses. That's what I like. True. I see a lot of yeah. like family people, um, people working with their wives. Yeah. I'll be yeah. out there with my yeah. friends. It's yeah. a family. It's love. Yeah. It's, it's, a lot of love. it's healing, really. It's like a healing, like safe space for just people to have fun. And right. it's just, it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it, especially the fact that it's it's something that happens 
monthly instead of annually or semi-annually like it's happening often enough so it gives us at least one day a month for that four hour time frame that we don't have to we kind of get a little escape from right. the realities of you know what's going on in the world around us right. so mm -hmm. yeah it's definitely much needed um so i know for a lot of people um going into the month of june um that is a, a big month for the city of oakland it's like our big Juneteenth month. So for Fridays, our theme, we're going to be celebrating Juneteenth, but you're going to find Juneteenth celebrations all month long throughout the city of Oakland. Um, right. We just kick off that month. So we're going to be first um, up, we first up, um, and then you can catch some other Juneteenth festivals. But uh, as we gear up into that um, and just all, that that has to bring um what can people expect from the threads booth next next week is there any new merch or specials or anything that you have dropping that you could let, let us, us know let us know <laughs> let us know uh, as you know when we come to threads every month we try to bring y'all something new um it's like i drive my girls crazy i drive my my um cousin crazy, my wife crazy, <laughs> like <laughs> I've got everybody crazy coming up with designs for y'all for first Friday. So mm -hmm. like this is this gonna be some tight um hats I'm dropping um on y'all this first Friday. Some okay. trucker and um I got some new track suits, um mm -hmm. a couple new things for the summer, coop um okay. some new jersey or whatever. So yeah, the um last minute of everything getting in it finally got here today so oh, nice. i'm excited yeah i was um i was stressing a lot trying to make sure i had something for <laughs> Just always and i'm um i'm also building a new business speaking of businesses um i'm building new world media um for all the like um creative people the social media content creators and all that it to have seven selfie rooms, a podcast area, I'm excited for that. a green, green screen room, <laughs> and studio. So we are awesome. almost done with that. I'm actually in the studio right now of it. Oh. And then oh, nice. I'm excited for that. I can't wait to um, do a field trip yeah. to that location. I was so like, we're definitely going to stop by and check this out. Definitely That's trying awesome. to do that. Hey, Miss Ivy, I see you in the comments, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so her. She said, where are the pictures at? That all these pictures that have been took of her, she's looking for the pictures. Oh, oh. okay. We're going to make sure we put you on a shot list, Miss Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, we, um, the clothing line, the collection, um, that everybody know us for at first Friday is um the flyers. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen the astronaut and you see the thread spoon man right. like that's mm -hmm. our our mm -hmm. stuff. So like, like um we always gonna be dropping some new tracksuits with the flyers or the new um jerseys with the flyers and then the FLC is the brand so we're gonna be pushing that but come pull up us pull up on us all the whole Oakland First Friday threads culture and fashion like Everybody who tuned in, please stay supporting this movement and with these yeah. ladies on and with the city got going on. It's really huge for not just me, but you know, everybody in the city. Yeah. That's really I love so that. Yeah. So I just wanna know, Janina. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have um some information you wanna share with us about what people can expect yeah. for next week? I know we got a few things going on. Okay, so if, if you didn't know already, First Friday, I feel like it gets closer and closer every month. Man. So it's, it's going to be <laughs> next week, next Friday, June 2nd. I can't believe it's already June. We're like halfway through the year. June yeah. 2nd, 5 to 9 p.m. in the Kono District, which is this lovely account that I'm um, going live from, uh, along Telegraph Avenue between 22nd and 27th. Uh, remember that we did expand our festival footprint, so we're slowly and surely trying to make this event bigger and more representative of the city and getting a lot of people involved. So some things that we have in store, obviously, we have amazing food and art retail vendors. Make sure you're supporting these local businesses um, who, you know, come every month. This is their, some people, this is their bread and butter. This is, you know, yeah. they come out once a month just for First Friday. So make sure you come through. I'm 
Are we close to selling out all our space, Miss Vanessa? We got a couple we got spots a left. A couple yeah. spots left. Just so any vendors who are, who are tapped in, make sure you have your hot spot paid for. We got activation spaces like Beloved Soul Beats Drummers. We have new people, new communities coming in like Panther Skate. Um, mm -hmm. Then we have our main stage, um, which features a uh, sibling rap duo. Yeah. Um, we have Doc Four and Gambizi. We have our outdoor um, bar, the Kona Lounge, located on Sycamore. It's just yeah. good vibes all around. Hopefully, you know, the weather's looking good. So we're happy that we're kicking off summer with a with a really fun for event for all yeah. ages. All and most ages. importantly, the uh, admission to this event is totally free. It's free, so pull totally up. free. Um, so so this but is don't, really don't, don't be, a sh don't, you know, if you drop past the buckets, don't be afraid to drop a dime yeah. or two because we appreciate the coins. <laughs> yeah. This is a community event held by the nonprofit uh, Kono. So we just want to make sure that we are showing, hopefully we can show love, um, keep this going for this really, you know, family friendly, fun, free event for all. Um, we're here to create a positive space for everybody. So we hope that everyone can come through and support us. We also have, have um, a little artist stretch. Mm -hmm. Little artist mm -hmm. walk, so it's going to be a nice little section where we're going to have some artists um, that some of them, it's their first time. Some of them have been here before, but we definitely encourage you to stop by them. They're going to be um, at the corner of 24th in Telegraph. So definitely swing by um, and say hi to them. Um, they have some really, really good stuff. So mm -hmm. definitely show them some love. And, and I, I'm going to say after First Fridays, we have a hard shutdown at nine, but doesn't mean the businesses yeah. around us are going to be closed. There are yeah. a lot of, you know, there's going to be, um, what's it called? There's galleries, yeah. there's restaurants, there's bars right here in the district that are walking distance from our event. The yeah. doors are open and ready to host you. So it's just really, really fun. We got a lot in store. Yes, yes. Definitely show some love to our brick and mortars. Um, they're there day in, day out, every day of the month, holding it down. Um, so we want to definitely show love to them as well. Um, and like like Janina said, um, we're only there for a short time, but you guys can definitely stay a little longer mm -hmm. if you want to go and visit some of those um, businesses that are there. Absolutely. Um, so are there um, any last minute um comments or anything you would like to say chris before we wrap things up yeah y'all come out and support <laughs> <laughs> come through uh, come, come through i got a lot of new yes. merch uh, got, um, yeah. a lot of things i've been working really hard on for y'all yeah. support um come support the city and i'll leave y'all with a sneak peek of what i got going on around here so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Chris said, pull up all me. Pull up all me. Look at that little sneak peek. Oh, my peak. goodness. That is beautiful. That's awesome. Oh, it's a vibe. yeah, I can't wait. It's a whole vibe in there. Oh, oh and speaking yes. of creative, you know, spaces and creative people, artists, I just want to shout out, we do have our talent show coming back yes. in July. Yes. Yes. Um, I know there's always people who are like, how can I perform? How can I get on the main stage? Our, we are accepting applications for um, July's first Friday. Um, we are having Oakland's Got Talent. I know that is a beloved um, new addition to our main stage. Um, it's our third yeah. one since the start last August. So we are celebrating independent businesses, independent artists, and talents that month. So make sure to um, go to the Oakland First Friday's bio, um, the link, and it'll lead you to a Google form where you can submit stuff for you. Yes, for yourself. definitely do that. We do have prizes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh. so we do have first, second, and third place winners. You also so definitely get to share your talent on stage to a really wide audience. Yeah. I mean, that's always great. Um, so make yes. sure you check yes. in if you're interested. <laughs> yeah, so Chris, do you have an expected date of when you're going to be opening the, the new location? Um, we're looking to do it in the middle of next month. Probably okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I want to get over this first Friday stuff because that'd be taken. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We know. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're yeah. not. We're not. Right. So after yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward to coming and taking a tour. Yeah, I think. <laughs> 
It looks, it it looks beautiful. We're going to do a soft opening, um, just getting everybody in for them to see it, take pictures, have fun, mm -hmm. and um, like that. And then we'll be doing like the the official opening where people can rent out the space and do events in July. Okay. Yeah. Well, definitely keep us posted because we would love to come out and support. Yes, definitely. For sure. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, shout out to Ivy, 3DG Clothing, yeah. Oakland First Days, uh, Welcome to Threads, my other page, um, Fever Lifestyle Clove. That's where you can get all the merch at. Mm -hmm. And um, this y'all. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. We really yeah. appreciate all the work that y'all put in and dealing with all the headaches that you deal with. <laughs> 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 so thank yeah. You yeah, we appreciate thank you that. Thank you. thank you for being here today. Yeah. I mean, like yeah, we, we can, we can me and Vanessa can talk all we want, but we just love, you know, when vendors can talk about it and talk about their experience. So thank you for being with us today. Yeah, yeah. it's all good. Fine. I see y'all when we out there. <laughs> all right, well, everybody. Thank, thank you for you. joining us. Make sure to stop by, show some love, share this live. Um, when we, so when it's over and we ask you to come out, join us next Friday, stop by and see Chris at the Threads booth, um, and then support some of the other uh, businesses while you're there. Make sure you get something good to eat, catch a vibe, have a drink, have just come out and have a good time. Um, so we will see you guys all next week. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. <laughs>